It's not recording. Yes, it is. And welcome to our store. Hello. All right, so um, we didn't get much of a chance to record anything today. We had a very busy Friday, which was unexpected, so we were kind of short-staffed a little bit. Um, if you haven't watched our videos before, we own a um, vending machine business and a uh, retail grocery store. And what we started doing is looking at our retail space as one giant vending machine where the inventory inventory needs to turn over for us to make money. Now we carry over a thousand different products, so it's just one gigantic vending machine um, with some little vending machines inside, as you've seen in other videos. If you can support this channel by giving us a, th a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button, that would be great. So I'm gonna show you a bit around the store slash our gigantic vending machine, or maybe uh, Alicia will. I'm ready, and this is my vending machine. So, yeah, that was my attempt at humor, but this is pretty much a retail store. We built it out from scratch. If you're new to this channel, um, you won't know that. If you're not new to this channel, thank you for subscribing. Um, I love you, I appreciate you. You're helping me build this dream out just by pressing that subscribe button. So, basically, there was nothing in here. And everything you see, me and Felicia put together while well, we designed it. Certain things we put together, mainly the things that shake around and aren't built, is what we put together. So Felicia's going to show you the things we put together and yeah, you're going to see our store, our vending machine. So, these beautiful shelves that I'm going to point to right here, that you see Ray walking, well he just walked through them. These side bunks here, we obviously didn't make. Um, they were done by professionals and they look pretty cool. Now you see these ones here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, these ones were definitely put together by Ray and I. You can see how much, oops, how much it jingles. Jiggles? Jiggles or jingles? Jingles. Jiggles. Jiggles. These black ones, they're from, or brown, I should say dark brown, are from Ikea, and we put them together. They're pretty sturdy for the most part, only because we braced them. So if you could see this little brace thing. Okay. That's I you. that from scratch. I'll get the phone. No, no, so we got this actually from a candy store that closed, and it was pretty easy to connect. The basket's just kind of hook on. Oops. So obviously, it'll be more sturdier than what we could do got these big shelves here so we have this one that one that one back here all from a Sears that closed um, in our city obviously that's not a good thing that they closed because a lot of people lost their jobs but we got cheap shelving out of it so everything we put together here we bought um, secondhand just to save some startup money we invested quite a bit into this business um, with our inventory, our shelving, our electrical, the ductwork, the coolers, the equipment. It just ended up being a lot and we had to ask ourselves, you know, how long is it gonna to take to make our money back? So, if we bought everything new, it would take another year or two. Where we are now, well, we're gonna to have to see. So, the main thing um, with any business like this is you want inventory turnover that's where you're gonna start making your money whether you're doing vending machines whether you're doing retail whether you're doing both like we are right now it doesn't matter if you can make an extra dollar on something if you sit on it forever because you price it too high you know if we sell something for a dollar ninety nine that we bought for a dollar but we sell it ten times well we make ten dollars if we try to price it at two ninety nine and we sell it we sell four of them well you do the math, which one's the better option here. The second thing I always try to remember now is this business is not about selling food to people. It's basically about keeping people happy. The products we give have to be quality. They have to last long. 
you know, and they have to be things that are, people are actually looking for. If someone comes in and grabs four out of five things that they were looking for, good. If they can grab five out of five things that they were looking for, well, then you have a happy customer. So the last week, um, today is Friday, um, so from Tuesday to Friday, we've had such a great week. It's been so nice out, which means that we've had a lot more foot traffic, which means a lot more sales. So we're pretty happy about that. Um, and it's a pretty great way to end the month of March. Um, wasn't really too bad. March break a little slower than normal, but other than that, um, it's been a pretty good month. Since uh, Ray and I decided to look at the store as a giant vending machine, um, it's really changed our perspective on like the whole store in general. Um, so now we look at the door as the flap of your vending machine and each individual product is your compartment, so we should say, or type of candy. So you just want to, I guess, we actually just think of it as that and that's why we say we own the biggest vending machine in the world. Related to vending machine in that way, um, but we also say it's the biggest one because we have over 3,000 products in our store. For the spring and summer produce season, which means we're going to have a lot of local product products, which by that I mean produce. Um, so we'll have a lot of local produce from you know local farms here, which is great. Um, a lot of people love to support local, especially in our area. Um, so we're really excited about that and that just means our big vending machine will be that much better. I don't want to preach too much like Felicia about uh, what to do and how to do it. Um, Alright, I'm just telling the truth. You're more of the knowledge, I'm more of the fun. Basically, I'm just one man trying to compete against Walmart. And if you're ever in a city where you have a Walmart and a local grocery, Walmart's prices aren't even that much better. I promise you that. It just looks like it because everything else, you know, is cheap, like the dry goods. But the produce and like the specialty items, they're very similar. Go check one day, comment below if you ever noticed this, because Walmart isn't that cheap at the end of the day. Other chains are a little bit cheaper, but the majority of my competition is Walmart because they're about a five kilometer radius away. So have like a little coffee bar at our store. If you notice, um, the tarts are always sold out because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, people really like junk food. I mean, this was supposed to be just a health store, but honestly, I don't think we would have survived if we just went with health products. You gotta give people what they want if you wanna stay in business. Your, your vending machines have to have the best sellers or you're not gonna be in business for too long. Your retail spots have to have things that people want, or guess what, you're gonna be sitting on inventory until it expires and you're throwing away money. Anytime I throw away something that I bought, I'm throwing away money and it makes me pissed. There's a lot of inventory to sell, but I can tell you one thing, everything eventually sells unless you have to throw it away. If you have products that are short shelf life, like produce, milk, dairy, eggs, whatever it may be, everything will eventually sell. It shouldn't take, you know, these some of these things right here, hot sauces, they can last a year, maybe more. I haven't really checked. But I tell you, like every, everything, these will sell eventually. But it's about your rotation on product, and that's how you'll stay in business if you have good rotation on product. Because you don't get money just by watching these. These are your employees. They all gotta go out and bring you back more money. It's a beautiful thing, retail. Wow. That's what okay. he does. So we are ending our night. Uh, generally a good, decent Friday. Friday night, people seem to go out for dinner more than grocery shop, but it was generally a good day. Slowed down right at the end. Um, Basically, uh, it was a break-even day, you know, we can't say we made a ton, I didn't lose any money, so that's good. Um, we're just building, 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 building inventory, building customers. When I have regular customers, that's like having a subscriber on this channel. I don't know why I have like a little mop on my head today. I don't know what that is. I don't want to touch it. My hands are, you know, full of like potatoes, grapes, like under my nails, probably like 
you know, pepper lemon dress. But I can tell you that what really helped me is the vending machine trend that's going around nowadays. Um, just the mere fact that um, so many people are just showing how they did it, what they're selling, how much they're selling, and where exactly their locations are and what's busy has helped my vending machine business and it's given me a perspective on my grocery store on uh, maybe we don't need to carry 10,000 different uh, uh, varieties of olives like I did that one video, that was a mistake. But offering the three or four best selections that people actually want with turnover. Rotation will make you money. That's what we learned and that's what we applied to our store and our vending machine business. I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna end this one here, guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please leave a comment below just you know, letting me know what we can add to our store to make it even better. What you look for as a customer when you walk into a grocery store first. Um, yes. Boss is walking out. What's up? How's it feel to be a boss? Yeah, get that straight. I'm the boss, yeah, right. not you. She's more of the let's, you know, play conservative and not buy anything because That's we want to keep point. our cash flow on positive every single day. Okay. Yeah. The more you have, the more you sell. Yes, but the more you have, the more money you spend. Tied by getting time. that stuff, right? But it will sell eventually. Turnover, turnover, remember that. Okay, see you on the next video, guys. I have to set the alarm. Remember, the other day. Let's just set the alarm and lock the doors. Bye.